welcome back band. Uh, we have the start of a new year. And also, unfortunately, our previous drum major has graduated. So we're gonna have to have a new drum major for the band. Oh, um, turns out that you happen to be the most senior member of the band. So we're gonna give it to you. You are now officially the new drum major of the band. Congratulations. What the f- So you've just been appointed drum major and now you have to be in charge of a 300 member band or you have to lead your own peers and you have no experience. What do you do? Okay, so this is a little bit of a dramatization of how I became drum major or how a person becomes appointed drum major, but it does happen because sometimes people tend to be appointed the drum major just because they have seniority in their band. But typically, most people who want to be the drum major typically want it. They actually try out for it. So people have been asking me questions on Facebook of how they can get better at being a drum major. Now, I actually like to subscribe to the principle that sometimes you need an extra set of eyes. A lot of drum majors are self-taught. Primarily, I am self-taught. I did have someone teach me the basics, but however, primarily throughout my entire drum majoring career, I have been self-taught. And a lot of times I will ask, I will reach out to other drum majors, mostly judges, mostly people who are more um, who have more experience to kind of evaluate me to sit to to let me know how I'm doing Now a lot of people don't have that that luxury However, I'm gonna give you guys several options of how you can improve your skills as a drum major now I can give you guys the basic Answer of practice makes perfect However, if you don't have an extra set of eyes to watch you a lot of times if you are practicing you may be practicing wrong Especially when I was taking judo my sensei would actually tell me that practice does not make perfect. Only perfect practice makes perfect because if you've been practicing wrong your entire life, you're basically doing something wrong. As opposed to if you, as opposed to if someone professional or someone has actually been teaching you how to actually be doing something correctly, you'll eventually be learning it correctly. So what options are there for drum majors? Now I'm gonna go over several options for you guys as a drum majors, especially if you are a beginner or if you're more experienced. You can choose which one of these may be helpful for you. I'm gonna start off with the most expensive and go all the way to the most affordable. Keep in mind, just because something is more affordable doesn't mean it's better than the more expensive one. Just because something is more expensive doesn't mean it's better than the more affordable one. Each of these have their own benefits and disadvantages. Let's say you are a brand new drum major and you've just been appointed the, and you've just been appointed the leader of your marching band and you have zero experience at all. You don't have someone to teach you. If you live in the United States, there are places you can go to to actually have them train you to be a drum major. They're called drum major camps. Not specifically drum major camps, but they're put on by various companies to teach student leaders or various spirit associations because bands are considered like spirit associations, apparently. It really also depends on what part of the US you're from. If you're from the West Coast, you might have options like the International Drum Major Institute, the World Drum Majors Association, the Regimental Drum Majors Association, or some other, also Peacock's Marching Bell. And various, and various colleges will hold seminars and camps for teaching drum majors and also student leaders. This is not, it's not mostly only for, mostly only for drum majors in particular, they also have camps for student leaders, especially for guard captains, drum captains, and, st and section leaders. If you are a, a student leader, you might find benefit in these camps. Now, if you are from the Midwest or from the South or from the Central States, you might have the option of the Smith Walbridge Drum Major Academy, which specifically caters to drum majors. Now, for me, I attended the USA Drum Major Camp. USA stands for United Spirit Association. I am not being sponsored by this company. This is my personal experience. I've had, I've actually went to their camp several times and I found it very beneficial. However, they, with these camps, they tend to be pretty expensive. They're usually held during the summer, and it's kind of like summer camp for band people, band kids. They're like, it's like summer camp for band kids. You know, most kids will go to like camp in the wilderness. I went to camp for drum majors. And these camps are typically held at a college campus, and you'll spend three days at the camp. And if you, um, you'll, if you are a beginner, you'll find a lot of benefit in these camps. They will teach you how to conduct. They'll teach you how to march if you don't know how to march. They'll teach you basically marching fundamentals, how to march with your mace or baton, 
how to spin, how to conduct, and basically also leadership skills also. Because as a drum major, you're going to be the leader of your band. So they don't want to just focus primarily on performance, they also will focus a lot on leadership as well. Now, as I said, I went to USA Drum Major Camp. And the camp that I went to was a three-day camp. Like I said, they went over marching, they went over spinning your maces. They actually have various categories that you can fall under if you are, they kind of, you kind of will have to sort yourself according to if you have like experience or not. They have like advanced mace categories, adva advanced drum majors, and then they have um, beginner drum majors. You kind of, and there's no way to tell, there's no, they, they don't tell you where to go. It's however you feel. If you feel that you're a beginner, you go to the beginner class. If you feel that you're more advanced, you go to the advanced class. All of the instructors also at these camps were all also prior drum majors and also one of my students also is a counselor or was a counselor at USA Drum Major Camp. Also at the end of the camp you will be evaluated so you'll go through all the lessons and everything and towards the at the end of the three day camp you'll, you'll pretty much perform for the instructors and also in front of your peers. And at the end of the camp, they will usually pick like a handful of people to go perform for and represent USA in a New Year's Day parade somewhere in somewhere around the world. Usually they will go to Paris or they will go to England. It really, it's kind of like a really big event that they will take a very select f amount of people to go perform at this New Year's Day Parade. Now I went three times. My freshman year, I went my sophomore year, and my junior year. Um, and personally for me, I feel like, you know, once or maybe twice would probably be enough because if you've been going to the, every time you go to the camp, it's pretty much the same thing every year. The only thing that changes are the instructors. And sometimes you can benefit from actually meeting different instructors. The one other benefit of with going to the drum major camps is that you actually can meet your competition. Other drum majors from other school will go to these camps and you can actually see who you will be competing against. And you know, you can meet them, you can actually share, um, you know, spinning tips and kind of, it's kind of a networking thing. And eventually when you go to a competition or if you go to parade, you can actually see people that you've actually um, uh, spun with and actually met at camp. Now, if you are a Scottish style drum major, you might not have the option of going to camp. One of the disadvantages of drum major camp is that these are mostly only catered to high school and middle school bands. So if you are a college drum major, you don't have the option to attend these camps. Which is unfortunate because, I mean, sometimes a drum major of a college marching band might need a little help with, you know, leading uh, a college style marching band, which sometimes these college marching bands may range up to the 300 member mark. And as a newly aspiring drum major, sometimes they could be a little bit intimidating. Now, on top of that, if you are a Scottish style drum major and you compete in Scottish games, you also unfortunately do not have the option to attend these drum major camps because I believe if when you sign up for a drum major camp, you have to be affiliated with a school. Because if I remember right, when I signed up, I had to tell what school I was affiliated with and what high school band I was affiliated with. So if you are a drum major of a pipe band, you might not have that option to attend these drum major camps. Don't quote me on that because sometimes, you know, there are, there's usually, um, there's usually loopholes for everything. So I don't know. But also, if you are also a drum major of a Scottish pipe band, th please note that these this camp mostly caters to high school drum major bands, which means that they march in the American style. You as a you as a Scottish drum major march in the Scottish style. So these camps may not be beneficial for you. So for the Scottish style drum majors, you don't really have camps. However, if you are the drum major of a pipe band, typically sometimes many other grade one pipe bands will have seminars. You can attend their seminars. They will sometimes bring a guest judge or a guest competitor from Scotland or a guest adjudicator from Scotland or whatever to help adjudicate their band. And you can go there and maybe you might pay a fee to actually hear the, the adjudicator or the guest speaker talk, but sometimes they will cater their program directly to the Scottish style. So for high school band and middle school bands, go to camp. If you are a Scottish style drum major, go to seminar. Now, with all these great things that come from drum major camp, all these things actually come at a price. And these, and this is actually, 
And uh, this is what actually turns away a lot of drum majors from attending camp is the price. If you're interested in attending drum major camp, I will include the links to the different drum major camps down below where you can go and attend. Now, if you're lucky enough to have a band that will fund your way to go to these camps, that's actually, I would recommend taking that, that option. But sometimes some drum majors don't have that option. They don't have a band to actually fund them to go to drum major camp. So what is the next option? What is the more mid-range option that you can do to make yourself to improve your skills and kind of get an extra set of eyes on you. That is to hire an instructor. A lot of times many drum majors will hire a coach. They'll hire a, an if they will hire an alumnus, someone who was the drum major, previously the drum major of their band, they will ask them to come back and teach them. Many band directors will ask alumni to come back and be instructors for the marching band. Also, a lot of times, most drum majors will kind of go on the internet and see, you know, there's not really a central database for instructors for drum majors. They're kind of like, we're kind of like a, a we kind of like exist in the shadows. That's kind of a weird way to put it because that's what it is. A lot of times you have to go and seek out an instructor. Sometimes you have to resort to going to message boards and seeing if there's anyone in your general area that might offer you, might offer um, lessons. And also a lot of times they will, you can see what different people will charge. Now, if you are from a, an area that has a really big drum major community, Southern California, you can probably find someone that has some experience that will teach you. And a lot of times they will charge you, uh, I don't know, it really depends. Personally, from when I give lessons, I don't really charge. I don't have a fee when I teach drum majors. Maybe they will offer, you know, to compensate my gas and travel, but other than that, I really don't do fees for drum major lessons. The benefit of having a private instructor is that they're kind of like, you know, your own their, your own tutor. Unlike with drum major camp, you only see those instructors for 3 days out of the entire year. And you'll you'll go to the you'll go to camp for maybe 3 days and you'll probably never see them again. And or if you're lucky, you might see them again next time you go to the drum major camp in the next summer. But like I said, it's like that entire year you're not going to see them. Whereas if you have a private instructor, your they can actually create like a curriculum for you sometimes they will create like you know a program for you or sometimes they can actually track how you progress they can go to competitions with you they most of them will go to competitions with you they'll get you ready for a competition they'll get you they'll look at your routine they'll get you ready for L pattern or whatever they'll all, they'll actually also help out with um with inspection and otherwise like that because they've gone through the whole spiel of being a drum major. So they're basically taking their experience and helping you out as a drum major if you're a beginner. So going to camp and seminars, kind of the expensive portion, and then going to, and then hiring an instructor is more of the mid-range. Now what is the cheapest portion, the cheapest option for you as a new drum major? That is what you're doing right now, watching videos on YouTube. Now I know you, it's not something you really want to hear, but reality that's the truth. That is, this is the cheapest option for you as a drum major. If you are a new, a new drum major and you have no idea of what to do, just Google how to be a drum major. Go to YouTube, how to be a drum major, and you'll see many tutorials giving you tips on what you can do. However, like I said, you might need it. It, the one disadvantage about doing this is you don't have the extra set of eyes to let you know that you are doing something right or wrong which is why I really recommend getting an instructor or going to camp. But if camp and getting an instructor is not an option for you, this is your only option. Also, this is what this is what I did as a drum major, what I how I learned. I went to competitions and I took a camera with me and just videotaped every drum major spinning and ba pretty much kind of based my performance on how they performed. I'd watch what they do and I would actually copy that. Same thing was when I went to when I started competing in Scottish Games. I went to competi I went to a Highland Games competition, took a camera with me, videotaped all the drum majors, and also met with the drum majors. Sometimes I asked questions and eventually later on went out in competition based on what I saw on camera. Now with the advent of YouTube, not a lot of people will do that anymore. They will just go and watch drum major competitions on YouTube. But when I was a drum major in high school, every drum major would bring a camera to competition. It was not uncommon to see a bunch of cameras set up on the L pattern to watch every competitor compete. So that was my like my little spiel on how, you know, the answer hopefully I answered some questions for you guys. You know, let you know that, you know, sometimes so, let you guys know that sometimes, you know, just practicing is not enough. Sometimes you have to have the extra set of eyes, is basically what I'm saying. So, like I said, there's camp, and then there's hiring an instructor. And 
Sometimes also you can go on message boards and then, you know, like rely on feedback and, you know, load up videos on YouTube and people will provide you feedback. But, I mean, it really it's really up to you on how you want to pursue your drum majoring career. I hope this video was helpful for you. Leave me a Leave me a comment, leave me a like, let me know what you thought. If you want to reach me on social media, I am at ArtyMacDM on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So as always guys, keep marching and keep flourishing. I'll catch you guys later. And also guys, just let you know, just keep marching. Let's as I always used to say in my older videos, you know, keep practicing, but then again, like I said, just keep marching and keep flourishing. I'll catch you all late. I will catch you all later. I can't speak today. I will catch you all later. So that was a dramatization of how sometimes a drum major might be selected as a drum major.